All right, everybody, we're gonna do a review and some testing on this knife here. Can you see that? This is the Ganzo Firebird Model 7551 Black. And if you haven't seen this or you don't know what I'm talking about, you're fixing to fall in love. Check this out. It's pretty cool. This one's brand new. Oh yeah, Ganzo came out with a cleaver. That is awesome. So let's get into this real quick and see what we got here. So we got one, two, one, two, three, about three and a half inches of blade and actually about three inches of cutting edge here. Really cool up sweep cleaver blade there. Got a nice choil here. Get that, my chunky finger in there. You're not gonna have any problems in case you need to get in there for some intricate cleaver work. Got some nice jimping here in case you need a little extra support on your thumb. I do like that blue hardware thumb studs there. Can you see that pretty good? And now the thing is they make, there's, I'm gonna go into the handle here, but there are four different varieties, right? Is it three or four? Four. So you got the black G10, the green G10, the orange G10, and then there's a carbon fiber one. And all of them are awesome. One, two, three, four, four and a half inches of G10 handle here. Now I say all of them are awesome. I haven't, I haven't had the other ones yet, so there are a bunch of them are on their way. Just check out that action. I love this Gaxis locks. Gans, Gansis lock, whatever we decide to call it. It's pretty awesome. This G10's got a little different pattern on here. It's kind of, it's very grippy, it's good. It's not gonna slip out of your hand. There is the blue hardware throughout the screws, the pivot screws and the torque screws and even the screws holding the clip on, which is left, right, there you go. Left, right, tip up, so you're good to go there. It's got a nice generous lanyard hole there. And you put something through there. I think on my personal one, I already have a lanyard. I couldn't find my personal personal cleaver, so I didn't bring it out and just open up another one. You have semi-open construction, so you can get in there and clean it fairly easily if you decide to use this. And we're gonna see here how useful it is to cut some different things. Do a little chopping, a little slicing, maybe a little cardboarding, if that's a verb we can make. And just check it out. I think this would be really useful. Just slip in your pocket and take out of the woods with you. You might want the orange one just in case it gets chunked out of your pocket or whatever. But we're gonna find out real quick and then see how useful it is. Of course, like I mentioned, it does have the knockoff axis, Gaxis lock here, which makes this perfect for left, right. Just ambidextrous carry. This is awesome. This, I know I'm maybe speaking hyper, but this might be my favorite Ganso yet. I, I love this knife. All right, so there we go. Let's take this into the kitchen. Uh-oh, uh-oh, did he cut himself on camera? Is there blood? Ooh, there almost was. Did that almost catch me? Let's see how that works. So I came down like that. No, it nicked me, but it didn't make me bleed. Did it? All right, so no blood, but there's a cut there. Be careful with your crazy shutting. May just be my chunky flesh. All right, let's take it to the kitchen and see what we got. Okay, everybody. What? Do a little jerky cutting here cut up some meat and I'm going to use the Ganzo what number is it? 7551 black and we're going to see how it works and just do a little slicing of the meat products alright let's just get it going here look at that it's like it was made for slicing up meat. So here we go. Just right through this meat. Not a problem, check that out. This is a really cool knife if you're gonna take it out in the woods and make grizzly bear jerky out of it. 
Super sharp, super slicey. Very easy to do here. Like that. This is not a problem. This is a cool knife. It feels good in the hand. I'm going to do a bunch of this tricky here. Check that out. These are, right now they're about 20 bucks. I don't know if there's any left on power cutlery, but I'm sure they're going to be popping back up. They seem to be really popular right now. I know a lot of people from the group on Facebook have gotten them. Be looking out here. I'm sure somebody's going to be doing a giveaway soon to celebrate what not and here not. And just check this out. This is super, super simple to use. And it's super, I keep using super. It was, I saw Justice League, that's my problem. It's very simple to use. I mean, it's very useful. I'm not forcing this into something that it's not useful for. This is something you would grab on a regular basis just to just to make it easy. I'm not a great slicer or anything, but check that out. Not a problem. Not a problem at all. Look at that. All right, one last one. Then I'll find something else to test it on. Check that out. All right, there we go. Oh, it's gonna be good jerky too. All righty. All right, so there you go. This thing does awesome. Awesome slicer. All right, so just wanted to see how this thing would work on some Maybe some chopping, another more delicate slicing job. So, grabbed us a tomato. You know, tomato kind of gets squishy or hard to slice through. Not for this thing. This thing just burns right through there without crushing up your tomato. Check that out. So, it's a good, useful little kitchen knife, actually. There you go. I'm not really good at slicing or chopping. Just wanted to show you guys this. All right, and then I'm going to do a little celery. Some of the leftover celery I had in the fridge. Let's just see if it will chop up. Looks pretty good, right? You take this out in the woods, you come upon a batch of wild celery. You're good to go. All right, so there you go. It's a good chopper. Slices meat. Sounds like I'm trying to sell these to you. I'm not. I'm just showing you how useful they are. Slices meat, slices tomatoes, chops up stuff. Now we'll see how if it's useful cutting cardboard. Okay, now we saw how it cut in the kitchen. Pretty good stuff. We are going to do a little cardboard cutting here. See how it holds up. Again, some of the Postal Service finest cardboard. Which doesn't seem to be all that great, but we're going to find out right now. Alright, sorry for the loud noises. I'm just trying to get this into cuttable pieces here. Alright, so. Wait, let's first see how sharp we're looking at here. Give us a coupon. Test the sharpness. Oh, just dump the coupons. All right, let's grab one. Ooh, free margaritas. Indeed. All right, so we go. Still pretty sharp. I don't want to stick it on the sharp or anything. It's not razor, razor sharp. But it's still doing the job there. That's kind of the way it came out of the out of the box. I don't think it chopping on. Let's see if it'll shave the sexy leg. Oh yeah, yeah, it'll shave right right off the kneecap there. 
Alright, so here we go. We're going to do some cutting and see how this goes for this blade and whatnot. Alright, here we go. One, two, three, four. Man, it's going right through. Five, six, seven, eight. I'm trying to get under here. Nine. That's a double cut. Ten. Eleven. Twelve. Alright. That one is doubled up. Let's get some more single single cardboard here. Thirteen. Fourteen. Fifteen. Sixteen. Seventeen. Eighteen. Nineteen. Twenty. Twenty-one. So this is the 440C, just so y'all still know that. 22, 23, man, this thing's going through this carbon. Look at this. 24, 25, 26, 27, 28. Just flying through it. 29. Ooh, almost took my knife knuckle off there. 30. 31. Alright. Hold on. Y'all ain't gonna see me just still gonna be fast forwarded. 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41. It's very comfortable. This grip is very comfortable. Let's see what it does up here. 41, 42, 43, in case you want to do a little intricate cardboard cutting. 44, 45, 46. 47, 48, 49, 50. All right, that's 50. Let's check out what kind of coupon damage it can do. Fresh coupon, organic upholstery cleaning. Still a little bit rough on that blade, not too bad. There you go. I think it's got a lot of gunk here. Let me try and clean that gunk off. No, 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 no. All right, I cleaned some of the gunk out there. See, still going through. Still going through. Still catching a little bit. Let's see about the shaving of the knee, the leg. Still shaving. As good as it did before. Maybe a little bit rougher, but still taking some hairs off the leg there. All right, that's 50. Let's keep going, shall we? All right. Here we go. 51, 52, 53, 54, 5, 6, 7, 8, 59, 60. 61, 62, 63, 64. All right, let's get another piece. Grow on. 
Ah, this is double cardboard, see? There we go. Just the single cardboard. Still going through like butter. Okay, so that's 100. I'm gonna clean it up a little bit here. See if I can. No, I didn't lick the blade. No, that's silly. That would be silliness. <laughs> okay, easy floors. Still going through that. That's not 440C. I mean, is it a super steel? It was 25 years ago, but it's not now compared to what everybody else is doing. But this is going to still hold up nicely. Remember, this knife cost like 20 bucks. So, holy heck. This is a useful blade. I heard some people saying that the blade shape was bad for work. I don't know what they're talking about. I mean, if this blade was like that, would you still say it was bad for work? If that was a blade shape? So what does it matter if you got all this up here? If that's what that blade looked like, would you say it was bad for work? No, you'd say, oh wow, nice sweeping clip point or drop point or whatever it was. This is a useful blade. I mean, it's still going through the cardboard. Well, now, that's gonna make me look bad, but it still is. I just can't get a good angle because I'm trying to cut it on camera underneath this thing here. All right, so that's 100 slices. And let's see, make sure it still shaves the sexy leg. Still getting hairs off here. So, you can't really see the hairs on camera, I would show you, and it's kind of weird, but it's still shaving my leg. It's all gunked up, 100 cuts. This thing could keep going, and I bet, Put, I haven't put this on the strop or the blade or the stones or anything. You put this on the thing on those sharpening instruments, and it's going to be even sharper and easier to maintain and whatnot. Now, remember, it will nick you, so I guess it's kind of like that Y start I had where you get your hand too far down. However, now that I found the one with the lanyard, I'm protected. Okay, so there we go. Let me clean this off. And we'll get right back to this. Okay, one last go at the coupon, just so we can see what we're working with. Blade's a little bit rougher, but it still slices through there. We saw it cut through the tomato. We saw it cut through the meat like a dream. Saw it cut through the celery, chopped up the celery nicely. Went through 100 slices of cardboard, some of it double cardboard. Went right into the fleshy part of my hand. Nothing stopped it. Nothing stopped the Ganzo 7551 Super Cleaver. If they decide to name it that, I'm going to have to get legal help to trademark Super Cleaver. All right, so there you go. Overall, I, this you can't beat this deal. This is one of my favorite new budget knives. And definitely something I'm going to keep and hold on to. At least one of them. And there you go. Like here. Where's that? Subscribe over here somewhere. Leave a comment. Let me know what you think. Were you one of the ones on the Jimmy Slash group channel? Facebook group that locked this up for power cutlery and bought everything. Do you have one? What do you think? What do, you, do you like it? Remember, don't get caught up in that blade shape. Because if this looked like that, look at that. Everybody would be thinking, oh my goodness revolutionary so awesome or whatever just this little extra hump of the eyes is basically for looks okay get over to facebook good stuff going on over there some giveaways stuff stuff you won't see here really some more a more personal feel for everybody getting together and knowing each other i think that's it and i will talk to you later hello my friends it has been too long since I've seen you. Christmas is coming. Jimmy Slash's hands are getting fat.